So the kitchen is the place where I love spending a good amount of time, but it can also be the place that seems to collect some of the most random stuff and just accumulate things throughout the year. And me being a thrifter and finding great deals, I collect items that I don't end up needing. So I'm gonna declutter my kitchen today. Gonna get things gone out of here that I didn't end up using, that are broken, that I just don't need multiples of. So I hope to motivate you today to declutter your kitchen. This only took one hour. It was during my girls' nap time. And so that is all it took to go through most of my cupboards and just declutter. I didn't do a lot of organizing and deep cleaning as that's for another day and I try to keep up on that regularly anyways. But just getting rid of things, purging items and making this space more welcoming even in the cupboards so that I can open it and feel good about what I see. All right, so this first cabinet holds my medicines, my teas, some mugs, my essential oils, and I really feel like this is an already pretty organized space. I just kind of combined a few things, got rid of some expired instant coffee, um, just dumped some teas together into my canister that I serve guests with, and just rearranged it a little bit to make it more um, easily accessible and easier to see and just moved a few things around like I said so this cabinet was actually pretty easy to declutter Okay, I've kind of just been working my way around the top three cupboards so far and I'm just gonna get rid of that I don't drink from it I made a homemade candle you know things like that that I burned through recycle a few things I think these teas are old I didn't ever end up using this false scrap gravy book or like these mason jar lids so I saved one of those because I use them for homemade dressing sometimes and then I just need to put this down with Christmas stuff so no, I already made more space. I did a pretty major kitchen declutter last year. And so um, I'll put that video in the link if I can find it for you and reorganized and labeled and everything. So it's nice to still have things to get rid of because, oh boy, the kitchen just seems to collect, I think, so easily. All right, to my dishes and glasses, you'll see in a bit. So this one actually, I feel like isn't overcrowded a lot. I use everything in here. I only have a few mixing bowls in this area. Only the bowls and plates we use on a daily basis do I have in there. So I only got rid of one bowl that was chipped and then just kind of took out some of the mason jars we drink from that may have had cracks in them or um, just too many. All right, now I'm gonna make my way to my linen drawer, um, just some plastic baggies, and then my girls' like play drawer. I know there's lots of things I can get rid of in that drawer because they don't really even use it anymore. So we're gonna start with linens first. Thank you. 
Okay, so pretty much everything right here needs to go somewhere else or be tossed. So like at Christmas time, she's playing with Christmas plates, toss those, these can go down to the kitchen set. These I got, they're biscuit cutters, but I haven't used them in a year. They're gonna go. Um, I guess I will put that back in there. I don't need that many towels from the towel drawer. I hate these plastic bottles. They get moldy so quickly and I'd rather have them drink from something different. This will go to Christmas stuff and I honestly think I am gonna donate this or resell it. They're beautiful, but I haven't used them. I don't know. Ah, I don't know. Maybe I'll use them for like springtime. We'll see, but I think I might end up donating those or selling those in my antique booth. All right, these next two drawers are my like baking and just everyday items that I use, I guess. And I just needed to clean a few things out. Some I had multiples of and just make it more minimal. So I'm not having little items stacked on top of one another. And I did just dump out a few crumbs in that little basket as well. But it is so much nicer to be able to have one layer of items instead of digging through, getting things stuck in each uh, drawer as you try to open it because it is stacked so full and it just looks so much better and I love how I can just access everything. All right, silverware drawer, some baby spoons, and some of my like metal straws. I didn't declutter a whole lot. What you see on the counter is about what I got rid of, so not a whole lot. I don't need a milk frother anymore as we have our espresso machine, and just kind of cleaned a few areas out. So these ones I kind of regularly do just because they do get full quickly. My pots and pans cupboard is actually pretty minimal. I don't have anything in there that I don't use and it goes way around the corner from the dishwasher and so there's truly only one thing I'm going to be getting rid of in here. So I do try to keep things accessible but also things I use that I can see so it's easier to get. Not even halfway through and I've already gotten this whole bag, some of these other things, this big item and some stuff I already took downstairs to, do my, to my donation box. I think it's going well. Okay, so I'm going to get in here. These are little DIYs my girls did. I'm going to get rid of a couple of those. This is our little coffee station. So I know there's some things in here I want to get rid of. For instance, coffee pods from when we had guests over two years ago for my daughter's second birthday. I don't even know if they're good anymore, but I have some extra, so I'm just gonna toss the coffee pods. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't have a whole lot in here because I really don't wanna keep it super crowded. All right, so nap time is over for the girls, but I found these plates under my coffee station and I got them at a garage sale or thrifted. I've never used them. I think I'm also just gonna stick these in an antique booth. This is my Korean Ives one mug I have. I might do the same with this because I have never ever mm. used it. So I think those are going to be sold. And then under the stove, so for Christmas I got a new cake pan and a lid that actually fits, right? Why something that doesn't fit? And then I've never used that before, so it's going. And so here's my pile thus far. And like I said, I already have some stuff downstairs. So I'll take a little break Ooh. from cleaning out some stuff right now, play with the girls, and then maybe do some more decluttering tonight. All right, this final cupboard I am going to be decluttering holds lots of our Christmas treats we got, some of my cookbooks, a lot of my half gallon and gallon mason jars used for kombucha, and I store our raw milk empty jars in there that we return and get replaced every time. So 
yeah, I am purging candy. We don't need to keep all the junk food candy around. And that's a nice thing about decluttering is you can get rid of things, re-gift them, give them to a food pantry, things like that. But I really like how this turned out. It isn't fancy, but it is organized for what I need it to be. So I got that cupboard clean out. It was full of a lot of our candies from Christmas. I'm getting rid of some of those. Also getting rid of like an extra spice that I don't need. A couple things here that I just never used. Um, we don't really use saltines, but I will go put them downstairs in our basement. I'm getting rid of a couple of cookbooks that I don't use because I just don't need those. And so things like that I'll get rid of. Never use some of these things. I'm moving uh, some of our other like pantry stuff downstairs and like an einkorn pancake and waffle mix. I'll probably use the Oreos for youth group. Um, this I had in there to organize some like food pouches for babies, but I don't need that anymore. I never ended up posting a Christmas brunch, so that's just gonna go in my extra paper plate supply. So it'll just be nice to have all of that kind of in its own location and the cupboard looks so much better. I hope you were encouraged today to declutter a space in your home during a little bit of free time, during your kids' nap time, before kids are up, when they go to bed, when your kids are awake, to have you have them help you, whatever it may be. But just remember, this is your space. You want to make it a place you love. You don't want to be overwhelmed with clutter because you want to enjoy the people who live in this space. Well, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, and I will talk with you, friends, in the next one.